Okay, we're going to do our star story. Our star story is called Whistle for Willie. Let me go to this. Okay, um, we read this story yesterday. Let's see if you can remember the title. The title of our story is Whistle for Willie. That's the name of the story. Ezra Jack Keats is the author and illustrator of the story. He wrote the words and drew the pictures. Peter thinks it'll be funny to hide in a carton from Willie. Do you remember this part from yesterday? What is a carton? It's a box. When Peter learns to whistle, he whistles while he runs to the store on an errand. What do you do when you go on an errand? Okay, today when we do the story, um, I'm going to have you pretend to do some different parts in the story. So I'm going to play the reading and then I'm going to pause. I'm going to tell you what I want you to do for each part. Whistle for Willie by Ezra Jack Keats. Oh, how Peter wished he could whistle. He saw a boy playing with his dog. Whenever the boy whistled, the dog ran straight to him. Okay, so I want you to pretend and try to whistle. Tried and tried to whistle, but he couldn't. So instead, he began to turn himself around and around and around he whirled faster and faster. Okay, on this page, without falling down, try to turn around like Peter. When he stopped, everything turned down and up and up and down and around and around. Peter saw his dog Willie coming. Quick as a wink, he hid in the empty carton lying on the sidewalk. Okay, on this page you're going to pretend like you're hiding in a box. Wouldn't it be funny if I whistled, Peter thought? Willie would stop and look all around to see who it was. Peter tried again to whistle, but still he couldn't. So Willie just walked on. Peter got out of the carton and started home. On the way, he took some colored chalks out of his pocket and drew a long, long line. Okay, so on this page, I want you to pretend to draw on the sidewalk, just like Peter. Right up to his door. He stood there and tried to whistle again. He blew till his cheeks were tired, but nothing happened. He went into his house and put on his father's old hat to make himself feel more grown up. He looked into the mirror to practice whistling. Still, no whistle. When his mother saw what he was doing, Peter pretended that he was his father. He said, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? Okay, so on this page, you are to pretend like your uh, Peter pretending to be his father and say, I've come home early today, dear. Is Peter here? His mother answered, why no, he's outside with Willie. Well, I'll go out and look for them, said Peter. First, he walked along a crack in the sidewalk. Then he tried to run away from his shadow. He jumped off his shadow, but when he landed, they were together again. He came to the corner where the carton was, and who should he see but Willie? Peter scrambled under the carton. He blew and blew and blew. Suddenly, out came a real whistle. So pretend like you're in the carton again. Willie stopped and looked around to see who it was. It's me, Peter shouted and stood up. Willie raced straight to him. Peter ran 
man wanted to show his father and mother what he could do. They loved Peter's whistling. So did Willie. Peter's mother asked him and Willie to go on an errand to the grocery store. He whistled all the way there and he whistled all the way home. The end. Okay, so think about this. Would you like to be able to whistle like Willie? Why or why not? That's the end of our star story.